<laughs> All right. Ooh. It's me, Yogi Diesel, back with episode 10, Beer Quest. Today, being as it's episode 10, I thought I'd do something a little special, a little different. Something big. That's right. Big. Just one. Just one flavor for today. So, off draft from a tap room. We have Southern Tears Nitro Hot Cocoa. 10%. I got this from the Urban Tap located in Shadyside and they also have a, another location in Southside. This is both based in Allegheny County Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh. Seems all right. Oh, fuck, that's cold. I'll put it in the freezer. So this should be a blast. God. Let's get that. That imperial stoutness. Mm, just straight chocolate. So I'm going to pour an actual. Yeah. See, first off, I typically don't do cans, but I have been very excited for the release of this, which was about a month ago. Maybe two weeks ago. But the keg was tapped this evening. And this was canned. But I don't necessarily know how a um, nitro on tap is supposed to be. I guess the best thing to do is always just get it in can. Which I did, but you could see there was... The bartender said she might have done something wrong Forgetting that it, not realizing it was a nitro? I don't know. So I'm not gonna get a lot of that. Anything. Except, it's, it's a dark, it's dark. <laughs> um, it just, it, it uh, we're just gonna have to, So I'm just getting a really dark, dark and chocolatey, stouty flavor. And my ear pops, so it's like even harder to smell. <laughs> <coughs> Mm. 
Yeah, I'm thinking she might have done something wrong because the beer tastes flat. Kind of just... Syrupy without the carbonation. Very dark chocolate. Very Again, one of those deceiving Southern tier 10 percenters. Um, I'm sure if once I see it on can at the beer store, I'll pick it up and do an even better review. Uh, I mean, because there's nothing. <laughs> Sad face. Well, not her fault. Not a big deal. Wasn't, uh, you know what I mean? So, for what it is, as it's going down, Imperial. All the way. The alcohol is there. That heavy chocolate is there. I mean, I damn near would love to know what it's what it tastes like at room temperature. <laughs> The burp. Excuse me. Everything for aftertaste and it's just, it's smooth. It's just got that little bit of that dark chocolate rush in the beginning with the 10%. I mean, uh, I don't want to say, but it's, it's some sweet motor oil. So again, this is something you eat a meal you don't want to drink a bunch of beers. <clears throat> this is one of those, um, I gotta go. Like, I have time to show up at a function or the bar or whatever, the little get together with friends. You know, eat a couple of chicken wings and nacho chips. And they want you to sit down and have a beer or whatever. Boom, this is it right here. Drink a nice full pint of this shit. 
you will be feeling excellent. I know I'm already starting to feel it. Not much more I could say. I will definitely look for it at the beer store, pick it up just to do another dedicated review. Maybe in the future of doing this, it'll just be Beer Quest Special. But this still counts as episode 10. New beer, new review. That's how it works. So, if you're ever in the Pittsburgh area and... Yeah, yeah I know, right? You might not want to get one of these... Or pr probably just get a, a non-nitro. That could probably have a lot to do with it. I can't really say. Um, I mean, it's only been like four hours. <sighs> So, a, a beer, because I've had these before, not this, but I've had canned draft beer. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> um, I'll get better at these things but like I said you you could look it up there's one in Shadyside Pennsylvania there's one in Southside Pennsylvania the one in Shadyside is home of a hundred taps I don't want to say that all hundred are working all at once. Probably. But who knows? Relatively a hundred beer taps to choose from. And of course, I'm sure they got bottles of domestic and some local brews. <sighs> and I'm not too, too familiar with the South Side. I do know that they got about maybe 20 or 40 It says with over 140 traps. So one location for sure has 100. So that must mean the other location has 40. Um, I like that. <laughs> Who wrote this? Most beers are best enjoyed fresh. Well, no shit. And it's not all that, uh, you know. Filled fresh, drink fresh. God, whoever.
without the carbonation, it really is a drinking fucking cold motor oil. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'll have to say something when I go in next. But other than that, if you're drinking it right there on the spot, I'm sure it's bomb. So go there, order food, appetizer, dinner, drinks, tip your waiter, tip the bartender, enjoy yourself, don't make an ass of yourself, <coughs> have a good time. So until next episode, I'm Yogi Diesel. The quest will continue. <coughs> you ain't gotta quit what you're doing, but this show is over.